the city of Atlanta. We've got a show for you like none other. You know what? This is Atlanta Live, baby. We got all of the sauce and we got all of the swag. We got all of that. And guess what? It's all for Jesus. Look, man, we are celebrating 25 years of serving the greater city of Atlanta and surrounding areas, man. We have brought you so many great shows and tonight will be no different, okay? So what you want to do right now is go ahead. That's right. Turn your TV up. Turn it way, way, way up. Get your mom, get your auntie, get your uncle and all of your cousins and y'all gather around on the TV because we got something special for you. You tonight. You are going to get blessed, man. My brother T. Rand is in the building, okay? And he's going to bless us with some incredible hits that he's created literally from the voice of God to your ears, man. We've been backstage and it has been crazy. So what you want to do right now is turn that TV up and everybody welcome our brother T. Rand. He's going to kick it off with Breathe. Followed by that, he will be saying, Lord, make me over. Let's go. Oh, I want you to breathe today. 22 visions, we here. And know that God is with you. Let's go. Closing my eyes today. Cause I don't wanna feel this pain anymore. But God, you kept them open. Told me everything is gonna be.
Yes, yes, yes man. Everybody, uh, we know oh, that you man. enjoyed that, man. T Ren came through, man. T Ren came through and graced the stage just now. Look, I got so excited, I forgot to tell y'all my name. My name is Bria Miles, and I will be your host this evening. We are celebrating 25 years of ATL Atlanta Live, man, right in the heart of the city, man. We have given so much to you guys, and you guys have given so much to us. And guess what? T Ren has just given so much to us as well. I'm excited tonight. Look, you're literally looking at the future of gospel music, and you're looking at the present of gospel music as well. Let me tell you this, man. I know you've never heard anything like you just heard. Tyrant again, just grace the stage, man. Look, what we want to do is encourage everybody right now. Maybe you're in need of prayer. Maybe you need some encouragement. Whatever the case may be, we want you to know that we are here for you. Go ahead and look at the number on your screen. Call in, dial in for prayer right now so that we can assist you with that. T. Ran and his wife, Alexis, are joining us. Fam, how y'all feeling? Man, we are blessed, right, babe? Yes. Like, you can tell that this is live, because I am sweating, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, okay, we here. I said, where's the towel at? But hey, we are live in this place, but we're thankful to be here, Bree. Like, we are so thankful for, to have a chance to make history with you. Wow. I'm honored, Joe. And first of all, let me say this, like, it's all love because it's very rare um, in our industry that you meet people who truly, absolutely love Jesus, and you can tell. There is a difference when the Spirit of God is resting on a person and yes. when a person actually has yeah. relationship with the Lord, and that is such a rare thing. So I'm excited, and I'm very honored, and I know that God doesn't do anything by chance, and it's not random that we're all here tonight, and it's not random that y'all are watching us tonight and that you're going to be a part of this awesome conversation that we're getting ready to have. So let's talk about this. You guys are innovative, you guys are married, you guys are parents, you guys have a production yeah. company, 22 Visions, okay? Yeah. Live and not die. You guys are doing so much. My bro is affiliated with the Grammy. He's working for the Grammys. You guys met at the Dove Awards. Yeah. You just uh, did a song with The Truth, with Lemonade. Shout out to the homie Truth. And um, you guys are really just doing it the way God has called you to do it. Let's talk about that, okay? Yeah. Let's talk about doing it the way that God called you to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say it like this. Just like right now, I'm like sweating like crazy, right? But you got to understand, don't get so caught up of being a human. Mm. And I think that is our secret recipe that we do not care that people are judging and we have accepted that we are human beings, but created by God. Mm. So we're gonna go through sweat moments, we're gonna go through imperfect moments, but just know that that's where the blessing is at. And so everything that you have said, everything we have done, is because we saw God in the midst of adversity. Mm. Yeah. And that's why yeah. we do what we do. Yeah, mm. and doing it God's way, like you really have to know what your path looks like, which mm. we have our Bible, which has prepared us for that and given us, you know, a, a map almost. And so we can't, you know, just not getting caught up in, you know, if we get rejected here or a door closes there, but understanding that truly, like, that our rejection is our protection. Like, like my husband always says, that rejection is your protection, but when you're in it, it can get really, really hard to mm. see that. Mm. Like, when the doors are closing and, 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 you know, someone doesn't want to collaborate a certain way or whatever, but, you know, just keeping that in mind that it, what, what, what God has for us is for us, and God yes. will provide us with everything that we need to do what we have to do, his way. And I think that's so fire. You know, you was going to say something? No, nah, go ahead. And I was going to say, I just think it's so fire because a lot of times as believers, I think we forget the simplicity of allowing God to do his thing and understanding that God has already gotten it mapped out. And one of the questions that I get, and I kind of want to ask you guys both because, you know, you actually manage, um, you, you manage your husband as well. You're on the management yeah. team. You guys travel and do things together. One of the questions that I always get is the question about being authentic to mm. your path. And I find like, and, and let's just be real, when you just came over here and was singing like that, yep. and then you went into a falsetto, my mom was over there hollering mm. and screaming and jumping. Now my mom don't holler and scream and jump for everybody. Hallelujah. My mom is a, a real, <laughs> real believer and people will yeah. tell you that. So like the fact that you're authentic in what yeah. you're doing and, and, and a, a lot of times I find that people um, get caught up in copying 
right? Mm. We get caught up in copying because we feel like what well, works for Tyrion, he hit the high note, I need to hit the high note. Yeah. But we don't understand that God gave you the high note. So let's talk about being able to identify the voice of God and it being authentic to your calling. Why is it so important that you be authentic to what God has called you to? Well, the, how I look at it is we are all copies of the Most High. Mm. And so you have to just understand what is your blueprint. That's the biggest thing. Because sometimes we feel like we should be a lawyer, but we're supposed to be a doctor. Mm. We feel like we're supposed to be an evangelist, but we're supposed to be a senior pastor at a local church. So, and the same way with vocal, like when you sing, like you may be a country artist, but you feel like because of what everybody's telling you to do, that you should be a R&B artist, or just like with gospel music. Some people may think that you need to be uh, CCM, or the main thing I'm trying to say is just understanding your blueprint, understanding that God has given you a gift, and whatever you feel in your heart to do, do it. Mm. Trust me, you are never out of God's will. Why? Because you have the Holy Spirit inside of you. Mm. When you are out of God's will, the Holy Spirit brings you back in the will. That part. The will of God is you living your life. Mm. That's it. Stop living off of people's opinion. That's because some people, again, they have the copy of God, but they allow the identity of opinions that are separate from God. That's how they become a different copy. Oh my gosh. They become that individual more than the God. Oh my God. And I think that's okay. And I actually want you to touch this as well because I feel like a lot of times uh, we go out into these different spheres and we yeah. were kind of talking about it backstage. Like I've had the opportunity, um, I never forget running and I'm not going to share all of it, but I actually got to run into Whitney Houston um, at an airport and I got I to run into her daughter, Bobby Christina, at an airport as mm. well. And they were both together. And I'll never forget that moment. And I, I also got to run into, you know, Trey Songs and, and different ones okay, like no. that. And I'm not just saying that to name drop, no, but no. I really do believe name that. Name drop. It, it's not there's no problem with that. Mm. You're showing what God is wanting to do with you. Mm. And what God is doing with you. If you don't even talk about it, how are you going to be able to understand how you going to bless somebody? That part. God okay. dropped names all in that Bible. Don't he though? From the, from the beginning to the end? What if we didn't know who Paul was? Then we would understand that, hey, no matter what you're going through, what you're doing, guess what? You can actually be redeemed too. Mm. How would, what if we didn't know who David was? That part, bro. What if we didn't know who Ruth was? There's so many name drops in that Bible, so name drop. Okay, well, we're going to name drop Come on. right here, right now. So we were talking about, and you're so right, we were talking backstage, and it's crazy how parallel um, we are in this instant. Like, God will literally and has literally put you guys into certain atmospheres where a lot of believers don't go. Now, I know, you know, as a believer, it's really because he can trust you and he's called you there. So let's talk about how you guys are navigating as husband and wife, yeah. how you're navigating in the business realm together mm. in, these, in these industries mm. and in these these parties or environments or meetings or gatherings, whatever you want to call it, where everybody doesn't share the same value and you're literally the only light. What has that been like for you? Baby, after that. Man, it's, it's, it is just for God to put you in those positions and for God to trust you mm. in those positions because some people can, you know, go into these spaces and become corrupt with the ways of the world mm. and it's just standing firm in the faith equipping ourselves with the word equipping ourselves with the holy spirit you know praying for god to use us continuing to dive ourselves daily so that so that we can be able to be that light mm. so that we can be able to come into the room and somebody can say man something's different mm. and that something is the holy spirit the spirit of god um and so it's just you know keeping um ourselves you know, as pure as possible. Of course, mm. we're human, so we'll never be totally clean, but um, making making sure that we're finding our way back to our faith every mm. time so that we can continue to be that light on a hill that God has, you know, created us to be. Um, we don't, sometimes I feel like when we um, begin to fall off, um, that our light can become hidden, our light can mm. become, you know, um, clouded, you know, with like shame, guilt, um, you know, worry, and I just feel like when when you keep um, when you keep your hands clean, when you keep your heart pure, mm. that that's not something that 
that bothers you. Like, you know, just like even coming to the show and having yeah. nervousness, but it's like, remember who you are. You have the spirit of God and that the spirit of God is gonna move, mm. you know, regardless of how you look, how mm. you, you know, what you think you, you know, he no. all up in it. Yeah. Like point blank. He's, there. He's, He's there. all up in it. He's there. He's all up in it. And what I really love about you guys too is the integrity factor. And I think that's very important that you guys have been able to maintain that in our industry where being slick is the norm. You mm. know, we're proclaiming Christ but giving, you know, bad information or trying to set people like I I I really be shocked at the stuff that goes on to a degree in the Christian industry. You know what I mean? I always believe that we should have a higher moral standard and a higher value set. And uh, I think the thing that really blew me away as I sat here and read, you know, you guys have toured 10 different countries, over uh, yep. 1.7 million views on YouTube alone. You guys are award nominated. Y'all got the key to the city of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Shout out to K. Arthur, cause you yep. know I love you. I'll never forget when you put that <laughs> napkin on your head and said that that was the Holy Spirit. Me and my moms was watching that. You are a general and a G. So you guys, yeah. I mean, you're killing it. You just were in a movie. Your music got placed in a uh, made-for-TV movie. You did. I love the show Nashville. Yeah. You were in that yeah. several times. Yeah. And uh, you're killing wow. it, bro. Wow. You're absolutely killing it. So I think that reading this, yeah. for me, above yeah. all, even though all of this is fire, as you know, yeah. you're a pastor. Yeah. You're a, you're a husband. You're a leader. Yeah. And one of the things that really stuck out to me is the fact that you actually went to China yeah. and did some underground yeah. ministry. Talk to the viewers about what that was like. That changed my whole entire path mm. and put me on the path that I am on now because I went to China in 2010 mm. and I was able to be in places where my life, um, <laughs> it would, it would be gone the next day if I wasn't careful. Mm. Um, I was surrounded by people that loved Jesus so much, they did not care if tomorrow they didn't see it. Wow. And so for me to be a part of that and hearing the stories about people getting transformed, because mm. um, one of the guys that I was uh, working with in China, he was a modern day Paul. Like he used to persecute Christians oh my gosh. in Asia. And um, I don't want to say too, it, like I said, he'd he been through a lot mm. <laughs> and he got converted. And um, even as me talking about it now, it's, it's so, it's so, um, how can I say it? It's, it's, it's crazy. I'm going to say it that way. It's really crazy mm. to talk about it now because I know that there are people are still right now underground dealing with that for Jesus Christ they're fighting for the name of Jesus Christ and um, you know you don't want to rough any feathers yeah. um, but God gave me favor in China and um, and I'm thankful and um, yeah that's the the that's yeah so yeah. it's a lot Man. Uh, but I was I was I was thankful and I love I love I love Asia I love China mm. um, and I and I hope that things would change in our world soon. Yeah, uh, yeah, or I, make yeah. it better. Yeah, uh, and I think it's fire how um, you were willing to put yourself out there like that because a lot of believers get a little nervous when it comes to that. And we have gotten to be, and I will say this, America has a lot of issues because we're not perfect, but at the end of the day, we are very blessed as it pertains to our freedom, freedom of religion, yeah, stuff are. like that. And um, I just always believe that if the body of Christ could ever really get the, the, the concept of unity and the concept of really having a relationship with the Lord, like this joint would be different. It would be completely different. Like you and I were talking about, it's like, you know, I'm, I'm from a plant with Tony Evans and stuff like that. So we stay locked in with the Bible. And I think, you know, for you to be a pastor as yep. well, um, how has that impacted uh, your music? Like, what does that look like for you? Because that's, that's, that's crazy, bro. It made me feel um, thankful, um, made me more humble because, you know, we talk about pastors and their fault and their flaws and yeah. uh, and how bad they are and all their you know sins and all that mm -hmm. jazz. But 
it took me to be a pastor to be able to understand a pastor. Mm. And knowing that we are all human beings and we are all trying our best to become greater than we were yesterday. That part. And if you get it, if you're getting it way ahead of the other people, your job is to bring them along, mm. not to keep them in the back or to judge them. Um, and so, again, me traveling, I literally got to see that like people are coming together, no matter what, um, what, 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 what background they come from, no matter how bad they, uh, no matter how bad their life has been, um, they come together. And so, in my music. I want my music to be able to bridge the gap where people can understand that you can be in the church mm. and still have sin. Mm. That doesn't mean that you need to dwell in sin. It doesn't mean that sin is great, but sin actually builds character. Mm. So if you don't have struggle, if you don't have challenges in your life, how are you going to able, be able to be the best version of yourself? Mm. It's like me, like I'm still going through things in my life so that I could be the best version of myself. Well, look, bro, I think that you gave us the perfect segue into your next song. We want to release you right now because yeah. you're getting ready to sing Overcomer, oh, okay? Yes. And it's, we see how the Lord is doing it, so go ahead. You guys, t is getting Hallelujah. ready to bless us with Overcomer. Me and Alexis will be kicking it, chilling, getting ready to get some uh, more great conversation started. Look, man, what we want to do right now is we want to keep encouraging you to dial into our prayer line. If you need prayer, if you need um, somebody to encourage you, whatever the case may be, we are here for you at Atlanta Live. Of course, we're celebrating 25 years, which is incredible. So if you're watching via Facebook Live, man, go ahead and give us some of them hell signs and fires and put 25 in the comment section. But right now, man, we are getting ready to get into t Red again. He's going to be singing Overcomer. Followed by that, save me. Man, let's go. It's Atlanta Live. Remember, you will overcome. Continue. Time has passed you by, and you're feeling all along. Hey. The pain deep inside of you makes you feel like there's no hope. You just keep your hands to the sky, to the God.
around today. Come on. Yes, I am. No matter what mountains may come in my life, overcome me. Yes, I am. Nothing is impossible. I will rise. Overcome me. Yes, I am. Overcome me. Trying my best to breathe above all this water. Living this life, I know I ain't living right. These demons keep calling me. My soul is crying out your name. I need you, God, yeah. I need your hand. I need you to save me. Save me from myself. I need you to save me. Save me oh, from I, myself. I've been knocked down and I've been shut down, but it's my time now and I gotta get back up now. Going through all these dark rooms in my mind. Oh, yeah. Trying to figure out how I got so blind. My sins keep hurting me, hurting me. My soul is crying out your name. I need you, God. Yeah, yeah. I need your hand.
Yes, yes, man. t Rand is completely out here killing the game, man. Save me from myself, man. I feel like so many of you guys are saying that right now. Maybe it's been a difficult time for you. Maybe it's been a difficult season for you with COVID hitting, man. It's impacted your finances. It might have impacted your family or your health. Look, we want to let you know that we are here for you guys. Simply call the number on your screen. We're here for you. We're praying for you, man. And also, man, y'all don't know how much I absolutely love Atlanta. I'm literally always in Atlanta. Atlanta State get me right. And it wouldn't be right because I told them that I would do it. I got to give a shout out to my family over at Raw Me Salon in Midtown Atlanta. Shout out to Miss Maya in Brazil. They got me right. They got the, you know, they got the curls right now. You know, I got a natural, you know what I'm saying? So they had to make sure that I came through looking all right. So make sure you get him a visit. T-Ran and his wife, Alexis, and business partner put some respect on that, okay? She's yes. a business woman, okay? She is. Uh, we are here talking. T, again, you just killed the stage. And what I love about you is yeah. your ear for music mm. okay it's super diverse like my okay. bro you got some country okay you got some r&b yeah, you right. you got some pop you got some hip-hop and it all comes from you and it sounds so good and authentic yeah right and i'm over here looking at a couple of the people that and i might explain but you're from chattanooga tennessee and you have the yes. opportunity to share the stage with quite a few people including shania twain now i do yeah. like country music now it's one of the only country songs i know is he's a fine face hey. of real estate and i'm on. gonna get me hey. some land hey hey let's go that's that's the <laughs> hey. 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 That's the only country hey. song that I know now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a pretty cool song. Also, um, <laughs> Born and Bred, right here in the ATL. You shared the stage with Monica, yeah. Kurt Franklin, Cool in the Gang. Hey, yeah. hey, hey. What y'all got? This? Okay, okay, so, okay, I, I, I okay. know that. You know what I'm saying? This is what happened when I you were you the only person in your family. Your grandma would be like, yo, you don't want to know how to run the technology. Get in there and play yeah. that iPod. So I know how to do a little something because of yeah. that. Now, listen to this, y'all. T. Rand has graced the stage with so many, and he's getting ready to be at the very center of his own tour. He's going on a tour yes. called I Am T. Ren Tour. He's going to be killing the stage, captivating y'all, bringing y'all into the presence of God. Let's talk about that. How did this tour come about? Yeah, so so people can understand like who I am mm. and understanding my sound and my mission. Uh, of course, my mission um, is to help people to know who Jesus Christ is, but beyond that, before we even get to that, People didn't understand their value. And so I feel that the music that I am making is to help people, first of all, to know that, hey, I'm in this with you. You're not alone. You're going to go through some things, but know that you have value. Mm. Understand that your purpose outweighs your persecution. Bro. So you're going to go through some things. You're going to go through life. But once you get to that point where you know your value, that's how you can know who God is. That's how you can know who Jesus Christ is. And so I am T. Ran. Uh, and we're still going back and forth with that because it's going to be either I am T. Ran or the 22 Vision Tour. Mm. We're still going back and forth, but 22 Vision comes from Proverbs 22, verse 1. A good name is ready to be chosen, great riches. Talk that talk. Bless you, Hallelujah. Bro. I don't have COVID. Amen. <laughs> no, he don't. That was just sneeze. Okay, praise the Lord. But see, just like that moment right there, that was a moment. Yeah. I was trying to hold my sneeze back mm -hmm. so that I won't look uh, not so perfect. But at the same time, that's how life is. You're going to have a lot of, huh, a lot of coughs, a lot of, a lot of um, craziness that's happening. Mm -hmm. But with the IMT Rant Tour or 22 Vision Tour, um, it's going to help people to be in their own home and they're going to be able to feel empowered. That part. Mm. And anybody can come. Now, anybody, now where can they get the information? Is it a website that we can go to or just hit you on IG? Yeah. And to follow that whole movement? And, and what's your, give, give your IG to everybody right now so that they make yes. sure they follow that. So the best way, I always say this to people, you can either like Google me, put in T-R-A-N, mm -hmm. thank the Lord, and when you put my name in Google, it goes straight to my website and all that my Instagrams. Part. But if you want to follow my Instagram, it's T-R-A-N-2-2-V. But all you got to do is go to Google, mm. T-R-A-N. And to also answer your question, too, I love Kanye. I love what he do, what he's about. Mm. And again, he's abstract, but at the same time, God has chosen him for this generation, this moment. And so that's how it is. Just, you're just going to have to just keep watching and following me, and then, mm. bam, I'm just going to say, hey, the tour has already started. That part. So I just want to be that type of person because I just love music. Mm. I'm not caring about the numbers. Mm. I'm caring about the individuals that is going to impact 
so many other people. Talk that talk. And I think it's a great point, I, and I want you to hop in on this too, because I know you love fashion. I, I could tell you love fashion, so it's, it's a thing. Mm. I, I can see it, I know it. Let's talk about um, the future of music. Now, this is something that you've said, yeah. and something we're talking about, and just some, literally something that was just displayed on yeah. that stage. Um, and we talk about Kanye, and a lot of times in the church, I, I remember like there was this whole big uproar. Yeah. Like, how's this guy gonna come in here and, you know, take over our charts and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, you can, mm. you can fall on either side of the spectrum for that. You know, at the end of the day, I really do feel like God used him to show the church, like, hey, I've been trying to do this with y'all. Yeah. I've been trying to get y'all on bigger stages. I've been trying to give y'all more reach and more yes. impact uh, with a um, fresher sound that is also for me through hip hop that is abstract. So I think your music is literally right up that yeah. alley. Speak to us, speak to the viewers about why um, it's so important specifically for the church to begin to embrace this type of music. What do you see it doing and what is the value of the music that you create that is reaching so many people? So I'm gonna do a little bit of it, and I'm gonna chew like I'm gonna pass it off to you, okay? That part. So like, <laughs> you just said it right there when you saying when people say our charts, it's not your charts. Mm. Like we try, people try um, to claim things that's not even theirs. Mm. The whole universe is God. Mm. All of us are created by God, even the presidents, <laughs> <laughs> even right. the government. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it, like God created everybody so when you get out of that space in your mind that okay this is my space mm. that's how you can be able to to see what god is doing if you're not careful you can be just like moses where you know about the promised land but you can't go in it Bro. because all you can do is look at it because of what you have done to try to prevent it not to happen mm. Mm. Because of your pride, because of your anger, and it's, again, the people that supposedly know God, mm -hmm. they're going to be able to just look at the promised land and not go in it. Mm. See, I want to go in it. And so just like Kanye, matter of fact, Kanye is on repeat, like, in our house on his album. The Donna album is mm. amazing. And so I feel like I'm so glad that he did that because it's showing that God is universal. God is not just in a local building. That part. We are the church, not the building. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and I feel that the, the shift where um, gospel music or um, Christian hip hop is going, it's, it's exposing just the light and the truth of like the reality of our lives. Like mm. Christianity yes. and um, Christians will never be perfect and we all have sin. And I feel like um, a lot of times we try to put that on the back burner. We try to like hide that part and just try to um, portray that everything is great. We're mm. all good and everything's fine. Yeah. But um, like you said earlier, he wants to like kind of normalize, like putting it out there that yeah. we're, we still have struggles. We yeah. still, we, we still deal with everyday life. We still deal with, you know, with, uh, with lust and you know, everything like that, that, humans go through. You're a person. Yeah. And so just putting that in the music um, is important because that music can reach so much further. It can yeah. go so much further than, than, than anything. And so I just think that um, just continuing to, to go with that, go with that wave, continue to do that despite, you know, who may not agree with it or whatever it may yeah. be. Um, you know, just going for it and putting, putting, putting it out there. Mm -hmm. And I want to tag with this. <laughs> The people did not agree with Jesus. Well, dang. The Pharisees did not agree with what Jesus was doing. Yep. Mm. So what makes you so perfect or so different that they won't do the same for you? It should be an honor when people or Pharisees, they know who they are, <laughs> that disagree what you're doing. Yeah. Because Jesus, our Lord and our Savior, if we are followers of Jesus, we got to realize that Jesus went through it and you're going to go through mm. it. But the blessed and amazing part about us going through it, we're not alone and we don't have to go to the cross. Ooh. We just have to say, God, forgive us. 
God, we need you. God, I repent. We just have to die of ourselves spiritually. Mm. That's the most amazing thing that I love about our faith, that we don't have to go to cross because Jesus already done it for us. We that. just mm. have to get outside of the people's opinion, and we have to get into that word of God and really understand that, hey, your life is determined by what you study. Bro, I think y'all completely out here preaching because I, I feel like a lot of people get trapped um, by the stronghold of opinion, specifically yep. negative opinion. And another brother of mine, I literally just seen him post. He was like, look, and I know this might sound a certain way, but you know, in hip hop, we just keep it, we keep it a buck. He was like, look, only uh, receive the advice from somebody that you would actually want to mirror their life, not to emulate, but you can say, yo, that's, that's a respectable life. That yep. is how you can avoid being offended by mm. criticism. And I know that uh, so many of us in the social media time that we living in, everybody got an opinion. Everybody is a celebrity. Everybody is like so negative. And I think for me, like I really, like as of late, I had to understand that it's the mindset of a man or a woman yeah. uh, that keeps them locked. Mm. Like a, a thought has no power. Another person's thoughts of you have no power. Yeah. Yeah. It can't do anything to yeah. you. The only time it can do something to you is if you believe it. And it is because mm. you're giving power to it. You're giving value and credit to us. I, I believe mm. that a lot of us have to begin to take back the power of our yeah. minds and unlocking um, we're not God, but we do have God-like ability Correct. because we're made in his image. That's so we right. have to begin to unlock that thing and, uh, and realize that we are way more than just this this flesh right here they like to try to tell us that we're nothing they yeah. like to try to tell you that you won't succeed or, or whatever the case may yeah. be and understand that all negativity is not of God mm. negativity is not from God and so I know for you um, uh, I've been hearing you say you know getting free from people's opinion um, yeah. before we get to your next song can you share I want you to look at the camera can you share with our viewers and say look this is why it is important for you to get free of negative opinion and only answer to uh, the voice of the Lord in your life. Yeah. So basically, I'm just giving you the phrases that God has given me to help me with my path. Know that your rejection is your protection. I'm going to say it again. Your rejection is your protection. God is protecting you for something that is going to be even greater for you. And also, know that God is giving you diamonds. Stop giving your diamonds to pigs. Mm. Pigs only eat diamonds. They don't know the value of the diamond. You give your diamonds to jewelers because they will take that diamond and they know how to shine it for many people to be able to know the value of that diamond. And then the last thing I want you to understand is this. And I said it already, but I, I really am a firm believer in this. Your purpose outweighs your persecution. Your purpose. You was created with a purpose. And no one cannot tell you your purpose but yourself, you, and the Holy Spirit that's inside of you. Yes, you have a Holy Spirit. Yes, Jesus Christ is real. Yes, God is real. And God created you with a purpose. And persecution is going to come. Adversity is going to come. But realize your purpose outweighs your persecution. Mm. Talk that talk, bro. I'm very excited about what God is doing you, that's doing with you and in you and doing with you and in you. I feel like you guys are super dope. You guys are both powerhouses. You're dope in your too. Own. Thank you, my brother. Y'all like come together and kill it as well and you do it individually. What we would love for you to do is grace our stage one more time, man. Let's get it. Bless the people with need you now, man. Yeah. Because we need the Lord now. So also, if you need the Lord now as well, go ahead and dial the number on your screen. Come and get this prayer, man. Come and get this work, man. Come and get this good Bible work. We got you. We'll keep you lifted in prayer and cover you. Also, man, we are still celebrating 25 years of ATL Atlanta Live Channel 57. Thank you so much for allowing us to serve you in our community. And now what we're getting ready to do is go to t Ran. He will be singing Need You Now. AOT, let's go. <laughs> I am 
dreaming, dreaming to find that inner peace. Oh, I'm dying, dying to find that inner joy. Are you reaching out my hand to you? I am standing. Can you believe that we are at the end of the show? Thank you so much for tapping in with us. Thank you so much for locking in with us on this special edition, man. We're celebrating 25 years strong of Atlanta Live. I have been honored to be a host, Bria Miles. Be sure to tap in with me at my website, alwaysbria.com. It's the word always with an S in my name, Bria, B-R-E-A.com. Also, man, again, special thank you to our guests, t Ren and Alexis. Be sure to tap in with them as well. And be sure to keep all things Atlanta Live live. Hey, and thank you to our special cast and crew. It has been super dope. Until next time, we love you, appreciate you, and remember this. Hey, if you want to get saved, if you want to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, go to the Bible and tap in with Romans 10 and 9, okay? That'll give you all the steps you need to know. Admit, believe, and confess. I'm Bria Miles. I'm up out of here. We'll see you next time. This is ATL Live, and T-Ran will be closing us out with miracles. 
Stay your feet. Take us home. Thank you, Bree, again for having me. Thank you, ATL, Georgia. Understand, we are all miracles because we are still here. Time after time, I try my best to live a life like you, Lord. But it always seems like I am falling down. I'm so glad, Lord, that you gave your only son. I am so glad, Lord, that you set me free. Yes, I do believe in miracles. Yes, I do believe in now I see. Yes, I do believe in mine is the name. Cause I believe in you. Yes, I do believe in miracles. Yes, I do believe in now I see. Yes, I do believe in mine is the name. Cause I believe in you, you are, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad, Lord, that you gave your only son. I am so glad. That you died on Calvary. 